Alright guys, so in this video, we're going to create the circular hole over here. And this, uh, what do you call it, this cutout for the, for the, um, little light up here on the fender. So let's get to work right now. I can't talk loud right now because I, I woke up at around, uh, 2 a.m. trying to record this for you guys. Uh, we had a blackout recently so I couldn't record earlier so since I promised you guys I mean I wanted to make a video today I had to do that <coughs> sorry about that well, my little brother is sleeping so I can't really make much noise so uh, bear with me and let's get this done for tonight alright so let's get to work we're gonna create this circle over here so you can see it's around the center right here so I don't know how we're gonna do this. Um, let me take this one, okay? I'm gonna press G twice and slide it down to about the middle there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one now. And we're gonna delete the vertices like that. So we'll take all of this, press Shift and S, and choose Cancel to select it. Let's change the pivoting point to hold on. Press period, change the pivoting point to boundary box, and let me just enable this for you guys real quick. So. I'm just enabling the screencast keys you don't have to enable that that is just to help you see the keys that I press so let's get to this side now let's get into side view let's get into side view now okay so you can see the circle is a little bit lower sorry about that you can see the circle is a little bit lower but uh, I don't know I'm just gonna keep it or maybe we should yeah I'm just gonna I don't know if we should put it in the middle. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it in the center like that. Oh my god. It's uh it's two thirty-four AM and this cox is still crawling, so uh it's a thing for me. Alright, so let's take a look at the number of vertices we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just ignore those scrolls guys. Let's just finish this real quick so I can get back to bed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna need a uh, uh, circular vertex with eight, I mean a circle with eight vertices around it. So let's just change the number of vertices to eight, like that. I'm really, really sorry about that cog, guys. It's gonna keep growing for some time, and I'm really, really sorry about that. So let's let's just finish this. Let's just try and finish this. So I'm gonna scale this down to about here. Let's move it to about the center, like that. So take all of that and take all of these. Press uh, space and type in bridge. To find the bridge edge loop command, select it to bridge the edge loops like that. So that should help a little bit. So I'm going to take all of these now. I think it's shrink wrapping onto something. So let's go over to the object data buttons and let's assign it, I think, to this one. Yeah, to that one. So is it that one? No, no, no. Remove it from that one. Assign it to the second one instead. There we go. So assign it to the second one. Let's go over to this side. And... I think we have to find the one with group 002, I think it's this one, so copy and apply it, like that, just so it's on the surface very nicely, like that. Alright, so with that done, let's get onto side view, let's rotate this, so this is facing each of the vertex very nicely, so let's rotate it, like that, so everything is looking very nice, like that. Alright, so that is looking great, as you can see, let's get onto side view again, get into wireframe. I'm going to take all of this, we're going to press F and insert the faces to about there. Alright, so let's take a look at how we did the other side so we can pretty much make it the exact same thing. Alright, so we just have the hole and then we have this rim around it and then this circular fill right in the middle. So yeah, that should be pretty easy. Let's get onto the side view over here now. So take that one, get into the side and um, let's apply this again. So, let me see, let's minimize this, I'm going to copy and apply that one again, let's minimize this, let's take a look now, yeah, so that is looking great, let's get onto the side view, but I think it may have skewed it, it may, it may have uh, changed the shape of the circle a little bit, so let's try to fix that by pressing Control, Alt, Shift, and S, oh no, is it Alt, Control, yeah, so it's Shift, Alt, and S, do it for both of them, Shift, Alt, and S, to make it much more secular, like that. So I don't know. Let me see, if I press W and choose loop tool and choose space, it should space it evenly for us, and let's try that again. Yeah, nice. 
To do the same thing with this, press W, choose loop tools and choose space. And press Alt and S to round it very nicely. <coughs> Sorry guys. Alright. So uh, with that done, um, what we're going to do now is to take this. And let's delete those faces. I want to make sure that circular hole is the exact same size as the one at the back. And it kind of looks like it. So let's go back in there. I'm going to take this and press G to it and you just bring it out. Just, come on. G twice, just bring it out twice, like that. And I want to take all of this. I'm going to press Shift and D, press F, insert the faces to about somewhere in the middle, like that. Press X and delete the faces very nicely. So I'm going to take all of these. And let's remove it from the object data button. Remove it from both group in the object data buttons, uh, on the object data tab. And add into loop cuts in here. Move it out like that. So we're gonna have to move the whole thing in now. So let's take all of this by pressing L. <coughs> Sorry. Deselect the outer ones and let's move these in a little bit. What we're gonna do is extrude it again in the X axis a little bit like that and extrude in the X axis even more all the way in. Now I'm gonna take all of this. I wanna move the actual thing inwards. Oh I don't know. Yeah, let's move it inwards. So I'm gonna move it inwards to there. With that done, we're gonna take this one now. We're gonna press E and then Y, no X. Extrude in the X axis, remove that from the both vertex group. Extrude it again in the X axis all the way in. And we're gonna extrude it again in the X axis all the way in, like that. So yeah, that is looking good and yeah, very nice. So let's just take this one and let's click on object and select shade smooth. So everything is shaded very nice and smooth for us. And I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take this one now and bring it out a little bit. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit like that. And when I get to the side, take all of this, press Alt and S. I think Alt and S, yeah, Alt and S. And then shrink it out just a little bit like that. Let me just pull the whole thing in a little bit more. So with that done, I'm going to get into wireframe, and what I want to take is this one. Alright, I'm going to press Shift and ND, and I'm going to press F just to fill the faces like that. And let's just scale it up. Press S and then X and type in 0. No. Change the pivoting point to... No, I mean, yeah. Is it? No. Change the uh, orientation to normal. And I'm going to press S and then Z to, you know, scale it in that in the uh, normal of the face and then type in zero to flatten everything very nicely like that and once you've done that change it back to uh, global to the normal one again alright so that is what we have you can see it's looking a lot like the one in the image so with that done uh, the final thing we're going to do is to try to create the, that cutout up here let's try to get that going in this one let me see what we have Alright, so that is good. I think we should put two loop cuts in here in order to be able to cut that thing out. So let's get over to the top view. And you can see, well, we pretty much have a... We pretty much already have a... Um, let me go back to the top view. Yeah, we have... Uh, uh, what do you call it? An edge already lying here. So I don't know, maybe we have to get rid of this one. Maybe. I'm going to... Okay, yeah. Um, let me see. Let's get over to the top view. We need one at the end of this one, which uh, I think we should add in. Let me see if I dissolve this edge. Let me see. Okay, this is holding something pretty crucial over here. So, okay, let me just dissolve that edge. I'm gonna add in two loop cuts instead. And let's get over to the top view again. Get into wireframe. So I'm going to take all of these, move it in the Y axis a little bit like that. Let me take a look. Yeah, do the same thing over here. Move this in the Y axis a little bit like that. Alright, so that is looking great, as you can see. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to apply each of the shrink wrap modifiers, so copy and apply, and copy and apply. So 
so there we go that moves the uh, vertices all the way to the surface like that so let's go over to the top view let's get into wireframe and you can see what we have now so all we have to do now is to get this right so let's go over to the top view you can see this is way too close to the top I mean we could cheat our way through but I want to get this right so let's take all of this now um, and let's deselect this here let's just pull everything back to about here get into wireframe deselect this press G twice let's move this all the way back to there let's get over to the top view let's see alright it's lying right on top of it now that is good so um let me see um I don't know so let's see if I take all of these and then I delete the vertices you can see that create that that hole for us the nice hole that we're looking for but it doesn't do it all the way through as you can see we still need some space here so let me just undo that real quick and then let's take all of these over here now we're just gonna press G twice and move this all the way here do the same with this G twice slide this all the way back to there like that so I'm gonna move this up to here go over to the top view let's get into wireframe I'm gonna take all of this press G twice then let's just slide this back in there let's go back to the top view now I think we have the space for this um, so what I'm gonna do now is well we just need a I don't think we even need a hole for this all this is useless we don't need to create a hole down here I mean this thing is sitting right on top of this so you know what let's undo all of those movements and let's keep things as is like this so let's keep it at that two look cut we just have to create this on top of this and then we're good to go so I'm going to begin by uh, let me go to the top view get into wireframe and let's make sure this is it the Kesa is in the center of the world so press shift and as and choose Kesa to world origin let's add in a mesh plane alright so where is that mesh plane am I in local view where is the mesh plane I just added in a mesh plane and I can't see it um, I just added in a mesh plane I added in a cube now and I can't see the cube what is going on? This is strange. Alright, you know what? I'm going to try to figure this out. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.